Yeah, but you don't even let people talk and listen. We don't even need him anyways. We can do it ourselves. I'm just upset that they do keep pleading me guilty for shit. You guilty? What do you want? Nah, what do you nah, expect? They fucking lying, bro. What are they lying about? They you, lying. You still on your phone? All right. Why would you say that? Because you're still looking down on your you're phone. You're in profession. I was about to put it down. No, you was not. Bitch, I look. Have... You still on it? There's no way. Look, you still on it? There's no way we doing this. You're right still now. on it. So what you want me to do? Launch it at your forehead? Get rid of your phone. Yeah, the fuck you you sit down. You. Why you sit down in the chair. You gotta have I wanna respect have my phone in my hand. I don't give a damn. Why you don't have respect for me? I don't got respect for you because you ain't got <gasps> no respect for me. Yeah, I do, bitch. Nah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah, Melanie, why are you mad? <laughs> it comes up right after that. We made a moment. What? You mad you got tickets? We get it. I'm going to pay for them. Yeah, because they're your fool. How are they my fool? Because you told me to park at a pump. And what, is that like $150? No, it's like 115 So then where the fuck the other... $400. Four? <laughs> yeah. And what? There's a, there's, a, there's a pump ticket. There's a no standing ticket. Oh. Those are all you. How? No the, standing is never me. The inspection ticket, I feel like I should have beat that. You should have. Because I was valid in my who do you inspection have, ticket. Who do you have uh, representing you? Me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, that's where it goes. I, I rolled down. I rolled down. I was like, um, I was in fact, um, my registration was in fact on, on display. He's a lying ass bitch. That's what I put on it. Oh. And then they sent back. And they said back. Millennial, why are you mad with the guilty shit? <laughs> you are guilty. Millennial, why are you mad? I'm not guilty. He's a liar. You are guilty. And you're also a liar. I'm not a liar. And you also have no respect for the fire department. Yeah. Or what? No. Don't you, do that. You park in front of the I pump. love the fire department. Why? Because they do like men in uniform? Yeah. They yeah. Look good. <laughs> oh, got oh, sorry. Me. <laughs> got excited for you. Yeah. But what if there's an emergency? Now they got to break through your windows. What? That's how they do it. They break your windows and they shove the hose through that. That's ah, why you're not supposed to park there. All right. It was just like a one-time thing. I feel like, yo, if there's never <laughs> been a fire in that little area, they should designate like, yo, you're allowed to park there for a couple of hours. Because on my block, ain't no fire happening in like 50 oh, years. Oh, bro. <laughs> jinx themselves. That's it. I'm going to go That's set that it. whole shit on fire. Nah, don't do that. <laughs> we got don't a confession. That. We got a... What's that shit called? A muzzle off? A <laughs> muzzle what? <laughs> what is that? A Molotov cocktail. Yeah, you throw that shit. A muzzle top. <laughs> <laughs> it was Jewish. <laughs> I don't say muzzle top. I don't yeah. know. Oh, that's like a. That's like yeah. When yeah, they yeah. Cheers. Now you throw that shit. The cocktail. Ew. Welcome to that's your reality. I am your host, Chicklet. It's your girl, Maleni. And we got our producer, Kaba, the creator. Yes, sir. What episode is this? Twenty six. Oh, um, that's how old I am. You get wow, moving now. You older than me. No, 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 no. I'm 26. How, matter of fact, do you feel anything changed for you since being 30? I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, energetically, I do feel different. You feel older. Um, like you get tired faster and shit. That's why I get. No I'm pussy. not gonna blame that on my age. I'm gonna blame that on the oregano I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have been doing a lot lately. I've been doing a regular for a week, man. You stressed out? No. It's just summertime. You know, it's summertime. Oh, the it's sun is shining. You chilling. Summer, summertime. You chilling with your friends. Summertime, Let's do summertime. some oregano. You know, it's a good time. Good vibes. I feel you. Um, but it fucks up my voice. Like, you hear me? That's why you gotta do the other drugs. They use your nose. You always sound like that. That's crazy. You got a carpool. <laughs> you got the thing. Majid. Well, carpool tunnel. No, that's what, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> I was about say. to say. <laughs> yeah, you got the carpool tunnel. I was about to say you got carpool tunnel. What is that? <laughs> carpool what? tunnel. That's when you order Uber and you gotta go carpool. to Jersey. No, carpool, carpool tunnel. Carpool. Tunnel. carpool. <laughs> that's a good one. I'm not joking. Yeah, carpool tunnel syndrome is a syndrome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Of what? Of you get in a car and you tunnel. <laughs> she tried to take your answer. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Right. Carpool tunnel syndrome. Carpool. We got the definition coming. Like come, all right. I feel like I'm you saying it wrong. Keep putting something in? Uh, it's a numbness and tingling in the hands and arm caused oh, by a pinch Oh, yo, I'm a dumb bitch. In the wrist. I should have known this. I played a, a role in my acting class where I was a mom and I had carpal tunnel syndrome. Can I see how you was doing that role? Yeah, I had bandages on my hand and yeah. I was pregnant. So 
So I would just like, pregnant? Yeah, I had my belly. That was where I had my belly oh, for. Oh. She had I, carpal tunnel syndrome. Can I switch up the scene? See how good of an actor you are? Yeah. The baby's already born. Now you have the carpal tunnels. Can you burp the baby? You what? getting head? What the you, fuck? That's how you <laughs> This is how you 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 burp a baby. Why are you getting a head? All the way down there. Why are you holding a spatula? The baby's right here. This is a back. Your hand is a spatula? <laughs> this is a back. <laughs> Your hand is a spatula? That's a, well, I have carpal tunnel bandages. Are we you having, the baby are we having a baby? Yeah, maybe like a year or two. You think so? I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I'm not going to lie to you. We Wait, hung out with on. Erica and Scott. If you're going to have a baby in a year, you got to get started like in the next no, few no, months. No, 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 We're not getting started You could get started with her in the next three months. No, I'm not getting started. I'm getting started when I'm 31. When I'm 31, then I'll get started. Wait, wait, for sure? Like, this is guaranteed you want to kid. I don't know. Let's see. I'm a Gemini. Guys, this is at least this conversation is on camera and not the wedding one. Because the wedding one for six years, she never wanted to get married. I don't know about no six years. It was definitely six years. It wasn't this, the marriage shit became a thing, like a real thing, like last year. Yeah, all right. You should just record her behind her back on old times. Like, wear a wire. Should. There's so this proof. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, there was this one time, right? Millennia had this penguin from Friends. What's the name of the penguin? Hugsies. Hugsies. Wow. And it's usually in. Is that why you say lovesies and shit like that? Oh. I'm not going to lie, bro. I've been watching. Oh, shit. She leaves Friends on at night, right? And it plays. I'm talking about like the TV never goes off. It just <laughs> runs through, like when in I wake up in the hours, you go watch all the season. The, yeah, the whole season. Like I, when I wake up, when I wake up, no, when every time I go to sleep is like the same episode. Oh, but you know what it is. You <laughs> hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, so it plays all day. So I watch it, friends. Mm -hmm. I swear to God, I think that's Melanie's whole personality. Like I swear, I think unknowingly most imagine being in your sleep. And you just yeah. hearing that TV play like that. You remember that episode of Dexter's Laboratory when we were kids? It's a meme now where he's speaking French. Voulez -vous 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 where he's like, I'm le du fromage. fromage. <laughs> but that he falls asleep listening in his ear to a French tape. And all mm -hmm. she keeps saying throughout the night is, I'm le du fromage. So when he wakes up, that's the only word he knows how On to say. On Friends, they do that. He's trying to stop smoking cigarettes, but it's a girl talking, and he wakes up feminine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Melanie's going to sleep and waking up at, with these people's personality. Yeah. Yo, so Melanie got this shit, lovesies. That's what she says, lovesies. Uh, Monica cleans a lot. She be fiending to clean. Like, it's just so much shit that I'm like, I wish I could remember more, but I'm Phoebe, like... Phoebe's very spiritual. Yo, he's just in fake spiritual, too, at that. No, she's not. <laughs> You just had to throw that in there. <laughs> not, not her saying the actor of Phoebe yeah, was really being not. spiritual. <laughs> no, she's not. She's really spiritual. Yeah, she is. But, um, yeah, so she has this stuffed animal, and out of nowhere, this stuffed animal was in the living room on the chair. And I think he was going to uh, Costa Rica or some shit at that time, too. Uh -huh. Or Arizona. Uh huh. You don't know where I'm going with this? No. Love you. Um, she needed a little piece of you to feel comfortable over there. I, I thought there was no. I thought it was a camera in it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nanny cam. <laughs> I moved that shit. You Matter of fact, face the other way. I left it there and just behaved more than I will usually would, just in case. <laughs> but every time you got up, you swept. <laughs> 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 I was Imagine. so scared to jerk off. You clean, she turns that's what it I was on. about to say. I but was so did, scared. Jerk off in the living room. I don't usually do it, but you know, you mm. was gone, so it crossed my mind. But then I seen that motherfucker staring at me. You're like, oh. Yeah, you never called me before, right? Yeah, I caught you in the bathroom Cap. one time. Oh, but in the bathroom, you're not really caught because that's where you're supposed to do it. Yeah, that's why I feel like I called him. So you got to be like, I didn't catch you. Chica, like, Chica, I invaded he, he be, your privacy. He be in the bathroom with his phone on. Oh, like he's scrolling. Yeah. Now scrolling. What I'm he's doing? He's getting ready to... Yeah, he's scrolling for a video. Oh, yeah, no. there you go. He be there acting like he's playing his game, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> I walk in, gotcha, and he's there. Nah, there was this one time she walked there, right? And she's like, why the drain is moved? <laughs> 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 what was your answer? I was like, your hair was just clogging it up. So I just moved the whole thing. <laughs> her hair was getting stuck together it from does get, else. Yeah, No, but it does stay there, her hair. Yeah. She actually flooded the whole apartment. Yeah, That yeah, wasn't yeah. me. That was you and your semen. I remember we talked. All gathered <laughs> up in well, there. Well, technically it can't be because semen swim. They can't. Down the You drain. ever seen them shit st get stick to the floor? No, I clean my shits up. Mm. Yeah, shits is like mojitos. I seen it sink into her belly button. Ew, ew. 
That's not my problem. Ew. Yours? It's like a little, no, hers. It's like a little jacuzzi. Damn. Crying. Why are you thinking about it now? That shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's nasty. So we're not having a kid, just to be clarified. Uh, in like a year, we'll May- start trying. <laughs> the hand gesture says no. Stop talking about <laughs> no. our life goals and shit. Just no. no, I'll bring it up to you next year and be like, "Remember we had that conversation? I want a kid. I've always wanted a kid. I'm ready right now." I do want a kid, but no funny. Like I was, we was hanging out with Erica and Scott, and Erica was like, "We were talking about having a kid, and we're in the same age. Like Wait, she's thirty. Hold up, yeah. I don't know this conversation. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I know people hate that." We had them on the pod before. Yes. And both of y'all said, yeah, I wanted kids. Yes. So I just wanted to say that before. I want to see where the rest we of this convo is going. We <laughs> do. But if you look at parents, the motherfuckers be miserable sometimes, man. Stressed. <laughs> They be, they be stressed. Especially the ones with boys that be walling. There's like two parents. There's, there's, there's like, two parents? Duh. <laughs> yeah. No, but I mean like two Not different types households. of parents. Like oh. my cousin, she has a she has a boy. He's three, but he's like he's so petite and he's like Gumby. Don't you shouldn't describe a boy as petite. He is. He's a baby you boy. Just say he's small. He's petite. Mm, I don't like that. I word. don't like that word. I don't care. <laughs> so this kid though, he's a menace. Like we're in Dave you and think Buster's. I don't care because I show my legs like this. Maybe. Your thighs are showing crazy. Can I, yeah, yeah, the fact that you get to tell your story, wait, 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 and don't, and, and because we get to the point. I'm getting to the point, <laughs> yeah, I don't but y'all interrupt me. It's true. So anyway, we in Dave and Buster's, and this little kid like throws himself onto a chair and falls back. That's their and shit. <laughs> That's their shit. The lady that was taking care of us, she sees the little kid fall. And she's like, oh my god, oh my god. She's like about to have a heart attack. He pops up. And my my cousin's like, yeah, he good. He do that shit all the time. (laughs) 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 I'm just coffee in this cup. I didn't have a coffee. I was gonna join you with that. But then there's then there's there's more. (laughs) Then there's the other parent that is like stressed that their kid is running around being a menace, and they're like, stop, stop doing this, stop doing this, stop doing this, and all motherfuckers. And then there's me. Then there's you. What are you doing? For those who don't know, I swatted the mosquito from landing on my kid. Yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you brush him in the act, in the act of the No, movie? I missed. Oh. Better luck next time. Better luck next wow. time. What kind of parent do you think you're going to be? I think I'll be... I think I'll be like the parent. I think I'm. I'm <laughs> hold on. Uh, parent. I don't know about no parenting. I think, I think I'll be the parent. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean, the way I am with my niece, like, one, I'll communicate everything. Like, if you can't get your way, like, the, you telling the kid no, they like to throw a tantrum. Um, I'm like, well, this is why I'm telling you no. And I need you to understand that. Damn. And then also, like, I'm very playful. I'm like a, a child in my heart. <gasps> like, child in my heart and my mind. So <gasps> I will be the playful parent that kind of has structure, but, like, communicating it. Like, I'm not going to be a helicopter pa- parent. What does that mean? I, what, they, they, they swing their kids? Around I, and round. New double entendre. What the fuck is a helicopter parent? A helicopter? You knew what that meant? Yeah, I just said it. You hover over your kids. Yeah, you hover over your kid, making sure that nothing happens to them, what they're doing, what's happening. Be careful. When this became a fall. saying? It's a new generation, bro. I'm upset parent. that I know it now that I think about it. I'm probably yeah. I, I that did upset it me. It sounds like y'all ready for yeah. kids. I'm gonna be <laughs> a Tesla parent. What is that? You're just gonna let them automatically do I'm whatever charged they up. do. Oh. What that? Oh, that was a good one. Right, that was. <laughs> that right? That's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be a parent? Uh, I don't, uh, you do uh, though, kid. right? I do. Cause wait 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 wait. It's cause wait, wait. you know what it is. I want the experience. Like I wish I could experience like the first two years and then be like, Here, a VR. take it back. Yeah, take you know, it yeah. back. Yeah, take VR. It back. Take it you back. I got VR. the experience now. I don't want to do this no more. That's millennials. Okay, I just want to Erica and Scott. The yeah. only you because you brung up the names. Yeah, the only the, thing you had was parents look stressed. That's it. You was done with that story. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. They just be stressed. We were both like, like they contemplating if they if they, she wants to have a kid, but it's you. I don't know. I don't know. Like you get people that don't have kids. They don't really regret it, but sometimes you feel like if you don't, you will regret it. 
Like, cause there's a point of no return after like. You think people that have kids don't regret having kids? People that don't have that kids. do have kids regret having don't regret having them. That was crazy to say. That's not what I said. It's I'm talking about the parent. I'm talking about people that don't have kids. They okay. don't regret it. Then you said they do. But I'm She's saying, saying like they do later on if like let's say a, a woman. She said can't, maybe I don't know. Can't you. have it. You know, let me reiterate that. Let me read. Oh oh oh! What was that? That was a rewind effect. That not. A- you started going, ooh, 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 ooh. that's why it does them. You sound like a turkey. That's what she did, no? Nah. Let me hear what you did. <laughs> you shit. sound more like a turkey. You might be doing a mating call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because cool. I'm horny. I see you like the way he's doing it into the mic, huh? Do it again. You might like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's her. The main call is working on her. Oh, that's it's crazy. Yeah. But there are parent. There are people that don't want kids, and you get to an age where you can't have kids. Yeah. But they don't regret. It. Like Seth Rogen, he doesn't regret not having kids. Yeah. Like they live their life, and a lot of people, it's like, oh, it's just you know, it's something I don't really. I think crave. I regret it. I think I would too. But I. But at the same time, I think. I'll be over by like the next day. I don't know. I would love to be pregnant with a belly. You could I just want. I just want a one and done type of thing. Yeah, I, I, just I want would a love girl. to have twins at that. Like, give twins? me a twin. Hell no. It's a one and done. You're no, dead. that's one of the reasons. They could both be I'm boys. So it no, yes. be a, no, it'll be a boy and a girl. They could both be boys. They could both be girls. No, nah, it'll be a boy and a girl. It'll be a dolphin and a. It'll be a boy and a girl. What are you doing? You doing affirmations right now? No, nah, I already know. I did the ring test. Oh, what's that? You take you wear a ring. Uh huh. Take a strand. But you of don't your have hand. a ring though. Ha ha. Oh, I'm not celebrating that we're not married because I do want to so do that one day. She goes. new shit is that I'm gonna marry you and then never do it. That's what I mean. I'm gonna Get marry you. Get your hopes you. up. Uh, I'll be like <laughs> another you, five years. Eventually, you're gonna be like, I don't give a shit if you marry him one night. He's gonna do it. You know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. You know, He's gonna like, yeah, she doesn't care no more. I'm gonna do the delivery. Funny room. shit. Be like, I be lately, be like, I'm your husband, and she be like, Wow, you're my <laughs> husband. I be like, Yep. I'm like, oh, you're my wife. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and then she comes in and hugs. Me. <laughs> Cut. Oops. <laughs> and we're back. Oh yes. I'm and while we that. took a short break after I made Melanie my wife a hundred times this week, I'm cr- a hundred times <laughs> coming back like a news reporter. Still looking at my You're, finger. You like, was just freaking out. I was. I got an email. What happened? It says I think I give me tickets to see the Jonas Brothers, and if I'm not mistaken, no way, a meet Joe and Bros? greet experience. <gasps> it says VIP tickets for you and one friend, plus access to an exclusive experience at the venue with an appearance by the Jonas Brothers. Themselves. Damn, that's fire. We Bitch, out? who we? Me and who? Oh. You don't get mad. You ah. never want to go with other concerts. Yo, he is so That's not even a hypocrite. Why are you Such mad? Shut up. Why are you mad? Sorry. I'm mad because I'm going to lose my wife. You already know it. <laughs> I just want to go to the concert. No, no, no. Nick oh, oh. Jonas. All of them. The, not all of them. <laughs> <laughs> no. Which one? Nick Jonas. <gasps> Nick Jonas has been like a childhood. That was my crush. That was on. I used to have dreams of Nick Jonas. They dreams? Yeah, he used to come to my dreams and, and chill. Then what? He used he to what in your dreams? He used to come, come to in. my dreams yeah. and chill. All right. We used to chill. Nothing crazy, but I was like, yeah, we're going to be married after I'm done with you. Just Is it he in a what? marriage? Or? Yeah, when we're both done with our prospective uh, marriages. What does that mean? When you know, when we're like fit sixty five, you guys both murder your fucking spouses. That's, That's what it crazy, like. yo. No fun. If she said, "When I'm <laughs> done with you," you didn't catch that. She was like, "You know, when I'm done with you." And you allowed that? that? The killing? I'm just finding this out. I'm here to I'm follow just your plans. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I got you. I got to sleep in between yo, you right now. How would? How would? How crazy would that be? What? Millennium murders me. I wouldn't I would be never. that crazy. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be crazy well, like, I get away with it. Yeah. If no, they, nobody won't. suspects yes, her, that'll be crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yes, no, I would. You would not get away with murdering me. I would not Let's be able to. I'm not doing that. Okay, then. But hypothetically speaking, and this is not... Uh, and, uh, and, uh, what's this is how called? you would be in the interrogation <laughs> room. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't have a heart to kill somebody. No. I could barely kill a bug. Um, That's not what winter sees. <laughs> but... <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait till we watch you kill a fuck out, electrocute the fuck out of them flies in the crib. She be like this. She, she starts running. I be grabbing it and she just starts looking like, oh, I'm going to my room. <laughs> Dead oh, eyes, just like that. Wildin'. But I, um, I heard through like a few shows that there's a drug I can give you that makes it look like you had a cardiac arrest. And yeah. it won't show up in the autopsy. <laughs> no, it's not fentanyl. Uh, just do the chlorophyll. Put it over Wait, why do you Wait, why do you know yeah. that? There's traces of chlorophyll when you... I wouldn't know how to kill you. Well, you better get it together. Well, I don't know how to kill there's you and get away of- with it. I know how to get away with it. I don't know how to get away with yeah, it. Yeah, but there's shows that there's teach you. There's a lot that. of shows that teach you how yeah, to get away with it. Yeah, but I think I'll just do it out of anger. I wouldn't do it like... Oh, you'll be... Yeah, but you can he, find oh, out how to cover it up he'll like get, that, too. No, he'll get away with a heat of, heat of, heat of the moment um, case. Oh, self-defense. No, yeah. it's a heat of you a could moment. Be self-defense. You could get, you, wait, 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 wait. We could, if we get into an altercation, I'm just if angry we get, if you. you. Yeah, if, you, if we get into an altercation and you're so angry... And you're so angry that you kill me... You can you get less time because they understand. Not less time. Not yeah, less. you get less. Time. Obviously, still you're still going to jail. You're trying to set me up. You're still going to jail, bitch. What you thought? You don't get away with it. Anybody doesn't agree with Melanie's things that are facts right now. That sounds a little weird. Google it. What do I type in? Say, you can get um, away with murder. How, no. How, she said you're still going to jail. How much time do you but get? How do you get less time for it being a crime of passion? That makes sense. A crime of passion. How much time you get for a crime of passion? Crime of. I'm just gonna Google what a crime of passion is. That's crazy that that word came to me now. That's it. A crime of passion. In popular usage is a violent crime, especially homicide, in which a perpetrator commits the act against someone because of a sudden strong impulse such as anger, jealousy, rather than premeditated. So you won't get charged. I see what you mean. It'll be a different charge because I think it's like mur- a murder in the second degree or something is like murder with intent and mm-hmm. you know premeditated and all that. So I guess it's not premeditated. We but should yeah. do this like a mystery house. You want to do a murder mystery game? Yeah. Like what? That would be dope. That would be fun. I said that and I didn't even know what you meant. What do you mean? Like, like what? what's the like, logistics of it? We have. We I have go a, to an I Airbnb. Have, I have a game where we could play. We could just do it at our house. We don't need to get an Airbnb. I can't kill you. What room I'm going to kill you? Wait, why would you do that? That's the whole point of the game. You don't no, even know how to play. You're talking about we can play it in the house. Murder. No, it's yes, not real, no. but it's real. They set these things up. You go to an Airbnb. It's usually like a mansion. There's usually like seven different... Rooms. Everyone has a character. Yeah. Like one random person dies. Yes. And that sets it off. Now we got to start using each other's clues while other people, you know, eventually every day oh. one person gets killed off until yeah. somebody finds out who the murderer is. Mm. Yeah. I have the game in the house. It's a box. <coughs> we dress up like the ga- Great Gatsby era. You want oh, to for real? Yeah. Yeah. And you want to do it in my our fucking two bedroom yeah, apartment. Gonna see everybody kill each yeah. other. Yeah, no, you won't, cause there'll be people in the room having a menage a trois. There'll be people <laughs> in the in the um <laughs> having a menage. <laughs> we just doing this so we could fuck other people. <laughs> Don't say that like you didn't try to get me in the bed with y'all the friends. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> got him. I had Riddell in the crib the other day, right? Uh huh. And they never see my room, so I told them to come to my room. <laughs> and when they came to my room, I threw Millennium on the bed. Uh-huh. And I was like, so this is how it starts, guys. I got you. <laughs> and yo, the next day I'm in pottery and I was like, I think that man was dead ass. <laughs> like he dead what ass. What was their reaction? <laughs> they was like, yeah, we're getting out of here. Okay. They, left. <laughs> they left. They went home. Yeah. The Uber. <laughs> For real. <laughs> <laughs> they left. I don't think they was with it. No, I don't I don't think I was with it either. Yeah, well, well, look, oh, away got the her. What? What she said? I don't think I was with it. Yeah, you used to think about it the next day in pottery? Yeah, like, yo, he was I would already had you. <laughs> you already been fucked. But I wasn't. You would have been. No. So, tell me about y'all life. No, there's no way you're doing this. This is <laughs> fucking. Yeah, can we talk way about the video that we all woke up to, or at least went to sleep watching? <laughs> I saw that shit yesterday when I, when we left the pod. The brawl, right? Oh my god. Yo, no funny <laughs> shit. That was crazy. That was insane. Why are you hugging the mic? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's how much she loves the video. She's such a I started on Lucy. Why don't hug my shit like that? Your shit not big enough. That's true. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Manhattan <laughs> Center. <laughs> what made you even jump into the classroom? <laughs> you know, it's crazy. I drove by it the other day and I said, Manhattan Center. <laughs> it's so funny when you do it, right? No, I hated it. Uh, why? Why do you hate it? I try to find the enjoyment of doing that, but it made me want to start a brawl. All right, you just try to get back Charles. into the brawl <laughs> conversation. No, we can talk about the brawl. That was craziest thing I've ever seen, though. 
That's probably definitely my favorite video this summer. So it's for, so wild. So for those who haven't seen it, <laughs> <laughs> you want to give the breakdown? <laughs> Jeez, give us the breakdown of the I'm video. I'm giving the breakdown. Wait, let me see if I got it right. Because uh, for those who haven't seen it, um, a security guy who yep. works at the pier had told this boat yeah. um, of people that they can't park their boat there. Yeah. And they were like, fuck out of here. Yeah. I'm going to park my boat here. I don't give a damn what you say. Yeah. And he's like, nah, you ain't parking your boat. He started, so they said, sober it up. So he said, sober it up. the story. And so then they started fighting. Then the rest of the crew from the boat Try to jump right, uh, security guard. Because then she missed a couple. What was the couple? You did really good. Round of applause for Melanie. That was yeah. really good. Um, okay. So just to add a little bit of details to it. Yes. The guy works with an excursion company. So at the dock, you know, whenever you're done doing your snorkeling or whatever the hell it is, the, the boat has to return. So the guy's telling him, yo, you could park all along here, but you can't park right here. Uh-huh. They're like, yeah, but look at how many spots. You'll be all right. And they basically just walk off. Uh -huh. So he waits for them to walk off, and he starts untying their boat from the pier to just let their boat drift away. <laughs> so they see that, and one by one, they keep coming back to confront him, and you can see it just keeps escalating. Now, at this point, there's another camera view that's recording the people on the excursion boat that are getting back, waiting to dock. They're just sitting there, uh -huh. and everybody's just lined up watching this family argue with this security guard. Uh -huh. Eventually, they just start throwing punches. They yeah. start beating up the security guard, throwing him on the floor. They're kicking him. The excursion employees jump into the water yeah. and start <laughs> swimming to the short, to the to the pier to help him. And then it just cuts, and it's just mayhem. They everywhere. beat the shit out that family, bro. They and the family got arrested. <laughs> and they, they yeah, they got arrested out. afterwards, as they should. I get I get anxiety watching like fight videos and shit because I don't like stuff like that, mm -hmm. but. I ain't going to say nobody deserves shit like that, but I ain't have anxiety watching that shit. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of people, like, now that we're about to be 30, you could probably attest to this. There's a couple people that we walk into in life that they never got punched in the face, and they need to. Just to know, to. like, yo, this is where, if you wanted to escalate there, we could escalate mm -hmm. it there. But do you really want to go there? Well, they started jumping him, and the way everybody came to my guy's rescue was Beautiful. It was like I the Avengers. It was like, yeah, yeah like music. <laughs> like music was playing with her the violin like, in the background. It was just it was like slow more. Yeah. Like the Avengers. They dead ass ass. They start. Yo, bro. The guys swimming. As soon, <laughs> as soon as they went to the boat, uh, the people who were off the excursion, as soon as they, they approached the boat, uh -huh. I'm like, rock it off on him. Just do it. Just sit it off. <laughs> just sit it off. And then when he just sets it off, I'm like, oh! <laughs> shit was crazy. That yeah. shit was lit. And then every time they just when you see when the two other dudes came up, you know one of them threw their own self in the water to get away from it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, from the from the family. Yeah. Yeah. She tried to get back up. I seen she was trying to climb up. No, no, no. They the threw her in this shit. When they she was, tried to climb back up to the pier. No, they there's a the guy that you know the guy that that he comes and he walks in and then he goes like this. He puts his hands up. Uh huh. And then then he starts folding and they snuffed him. Yeah. yeah. He jumps into the water to get away from it. <laughs> <laughs> she got real for him fast. Yo. That's, it. That's him. Yeah. The person I just described is him. He got punched in the face and he was like, oh shit. Yo. I don't want no parts of this. What do I do? He jumped in the water. Yeah. I need to get punched That's in the my last face. place I'm going. I'm a, I'd rather lay on the floor and let you beat me up. I think nah. I'm jumping in the water. That's great. I'm terrified of that shit. I'll yeah. be like, yo, 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 chill, 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 chill. I was just playing. I was just playing. That's what he's saying. It's a prank. It's a prank. Like, look, the person it's a throwing video. punches. Oh, yeah, it's chill. It's a prank. <laughs> it's, it's a prank. Fuck out. Everybody beat your ass even more. That's the ultimate plea. It's a prank. It's a prank. It's a prank. It's a prank. Look at the cameras. <laughs> and then you try to get the security guard in on it. Right? It's a prank. Right, right, right. Tell him. He just set it over. Like, yeah, no he problem, starts bro. looking for the cameras. You start swinging back at him. Yo. Bro, I love that video because it showed community. It showed community. Togetherness. Yeah, I wanted to go work for them. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that, shit. that's crazy. Workers, I was like, the workers are getting it on too? Yo, you got to hold down for Fire, your staff, bro. bro. The team is getting it on. Shaking. They yeah. probably was in the, in the break room afterwards sharing a cigarette like, damn, that was wild. You know why I admired it so much, too? Because one, the other family was definitely in the wrong. So that's mm -hmm. why I was like, acceptable for this yep. beating to happen. Two, I'm not doing that for none of y'all. You're a liar. I'm dead eyes. You're a liar. <laughs> You're going to be the reason we have to do it. No, right? no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Would I do that for you? I don't know. 
Yeah, I don't know if I'm doing that either. Because at first, I was like, yo, the dude who jumped in the water. He's bugging. He, for jumping in the water, yeah. Because it looks like it's not that far. But he was swimming for a long time. He was time. swimming for that long. And for the fact that he still had energy to get up and hit a couple of people and make them drop was crazy. <laughs> but I thank God he was safe because he was he was swimming in the same spot for a little bit too. Yeah. Like, wait. He had a- I was like, here it comes. The Barracuda's going to get him. That's me. To have that adrenaline, get really excited, jump in the water, and not know how to and swim. And then when you get up, no. What- <laughs> oh, shit. Help me. Help me. <laughs> what had me weak was you jump in the water with your shoes and all. And now when you get out, your shit is wet. Like, you didn't yeah, think about that. That's high. usually how that works. You, yeah, but a lot like, you jump in the water with your shoes, and when you get out, it's wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you would you think that through? It, I wouldn't Idiot. give a fuck. They fucking up my man. Now your I don't shoes all shit. wet, and now you're trying to fight, but get your slippery and now shit. Now I know about you, because I was testing y'all just I now. Think I, if I didn't give my answer. In, oh. I said I'm not I was jumping in about, I'm not jumping in the water. I don't know about the water. Come on, that's a, yeah, that's my boundaries. I'm not jumping in the Malani water. Clearly now, says I'm a liar she's though, because I mean, I saved my sister, but I was already in the water. You saved him from what drowning? Yeah, that's, that's way different fighting. than fighting. But I don't know how to drown, so to me, it's you like, don't know how to drown. I mean, I don't know how to. <laughs> I don't know. How to, I don't I'll know. Teach show you. I don't know how to try water, so I don't know how to say. I never saved somebody, so I don't know what I thought I was doing. Hey, what are you doing over there? You're doing it too much. I'm doing push-ups. Yeah, whatever. He was trying um, to revive you. Yeah. I don't know. It'll be a tough one. I don't think I'll save you. Where did swimming. the one come from? It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Yeah, I've been thinking about that all week. What? I mean, I'm gonna pull you for a chat. Can I pull you for a chat? That's pull so funny to me. We I haven't watched why. it in mad long. I know we need to. We gotta catch up. We gotta fast forward to watch it the way you watch Naruto. We yeah, I gotta start it. requesting shows to you guys. Nah. Why? Because I be having some good shows. Nah. Nah, I, I don't like your tasting shows. Give me one. There's a new show with Idris Elba called Hijack. I heard that show was amazing. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I did. I haven't watched it. Oh, and I Netflix. Think it just finished. Netflix played all of us. I am assuming. Quotes. Because, <laughs> right? Air quotes start from the top and the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> it's Is a that... long one. <laughs> Why you did your air quotes That's like that? That's how I speak. My words come out <laughs> sideways. They don't come out <laughs> like this. <laughs> They come out like that, <laughs> right? I So we had somebody else's Netflix account, right? Uh-huh. So you know when you clicked it about two months ago, it said, you're not on the Wi-Fi that's connected to our TV, so you got to get your own shit. Yeah. yeah. I never own. got my own shit, because I, I, I said this before. I thought we was all going to stand together and be like, fuck this. I clicked it yesterday. Shit, took it off. Shit signed in. So my theory for that is they announced that ever since that thing went into effect, I think they said they got another 3 million subscribers within like the first three weeks or something. Mm -hmm. So they're like, all right, we could take your ban off now. I think that's what they did. We're just not going to say nothing. We're just going to take it off now. Whoever knows, knows. Bro, I signed in. It went in. And I didn't watch nothing. (laughs) And I ain't watch nothing. I ain't watch shit. Is Netflix (sighs) really like your go-to? Yes. Yeah? Uh Uh-huh. 100%. Over what what other streaming services you got? Uh, HBO. I love HBO. I know you I, love I'm HBO. A, I, I'm a Max girl. Yeah. That's HBO. What, Climax? I'm a Max girl. You, mm. No, you're not. You only watch fucking Friends on that shit. Yeah, speaking um, of... Are you I a watch, Hulu girl? Hold on. Hold on. I'm not a Hulu girl. Yes, you are. I'm no, a Max I know you're girl. a Max girl because you be watching Euphoria. I be watching yeah, Euphoria. That shit lasted like a week. RIP to RIP. Oh, my God, bro. They showed the scene of, hold on. The they showed the scene. scene. <laughs> we just went on like a whole fucking tangent. That's right, but they like it. Um, we, um, they showed the scene of Zendaya with him, where mm-hmm. she's telling him thank you oh, for, shit, yeah. you know, being a friend and not like selling me drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, of course, like, I got yeah. you. And his was, character, personality. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. It was amazing. Oh he was my such God. a great character. I don't know what they're going to do with... Taking him off. I never watched it. Such a good show. That show is so good, bro. I feel like that show started fentanyl. Crying. Like, not started (laughs) the drug, but like the craze that everybody's having. Ever since that episode came out, Uh where that guy, the drug dealer, forced her to take fentanyl, she was tripping out. Yeah. They started putting that into a whole bunch of drugs. Celebrities started dying from it. Yeah. Like, that shit is crazy. But you know, people take that, right? No, I know that it's a prescription drug, but you know that that. No, I'm saying like they. You know, because before I didn't, I don't even want to take too long on this because I don't like it. But uh, like they'll put it in your your weed, whatever it is, right? Well, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. But now but you could actually is, just 
buy fentanyl and, well, no, and get always, high off of it's it. It's always been a drug. I forgot what it's supposed to treat, but the thing is, it's given in such small doses. Isn't it a pain reliever? Because it's so powerful yeah. that they give you, you can't pass like 0. 0.2, let's say the number is. But literally, people are using it inside Coke, like there's pink Coke going around, and people mm-hmm. are like, oh yeah, it's pink Coke. I think it's called Tusi. Tusi. And people yeah. are doing it just thinking it's the new party drug, but it's like, no, that's uh, Coke mi- mixed with fentanyl. That's Is that and a fact? That's what, uh, you know, reliable street sources told me. <laughs> reliable street <laughs> sources! We got him! The feds come in. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. It was reliable street sources, though. I'm not going to lie. Reliable street sources is but funny, It was like, though. yo, the people that cut that, whatever, whoever does that batch, if they cut a little bit too much off, whoever takes that's that it, batch bro. could die. That shit is not one to play with, bro. Yeah. No, don't do drugs, shit. kids. Don't stick do to drugs. oregano. If it grows from the floor, no, I can't even say that because opioids and shit. Opioids grow from the floor? Yeah. They plant that shit in China. What the fuck is opioids? Opioids, painkillers. Oh. Kanye was addicted to them. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're pills. Mm-hmm. Oh. I don't know why. I th- <laughs> this is me not. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I thought opioids was like. It sounds like something else. Like a fat reliever. What? What the fuck is a fat reliever? <laughs> like you're not fat no more if you start taking them. <laughs> like you like lose weight. Push ups are opioid. <laughs> like a lose no. <laughs> like a lose weight pill. <laughs> now know. opioid is a a compound resembling opium in addictive properties or phys. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me look that up in drug form. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this coffee is smacking my mouth out right now, guys. Yeah. You made one. You made iced coffee. I bought it. Mm. You know me. Belisi also. Yeah, pain relief and anesthesia. Mm. So drugs that give that effect, like oxycotton. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You guys, I'm right. glad I don't got no addictive personality. <sighs> I do. What do you mean? Well, I I used to take. Um, You're addicted oxy. to cuddles. I am used addicted. to what? You used to take oxy. Yeah. You as a pain reliever. You You're addicted to cuddles. Yeah. And I didn't get addicted to it. Who the fuck is cuddles? Me. Oh. I get cuddles. I'm addicted to cuddles. Yeah. yeah, I'm addicted to cuddle. Damn, you want to cuddle right now? Yeah, I want to cuddle right now. You one time for the one time. Let me see. What the fuck? That's what it leads to. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you guys see that Kai Sinai riot? No. You didn't see it? Wait, 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 wait. I saw a little bit of it. I just realized this. Yeah. You just respond no immediately. No, 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 no. You don't even think about she shit. She just did it. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. No. See, because the thing is, I didn't see the whole video, but I saw like this the mad first video. clip. You think it's his fault? It. Mm. No. You don't, don't think as a as a as a celebrity, you should know what you're capable of. He should have done better knowing what his you know popularity would draw. But everybody in the world knew that that event was happening. The NYPD should know, yo. I didn't know that was a thing. But that's what they said no? they didn't know. We were talking about that for like four days. NYPD, I know he was doing they, a giveaway. He didn't tell NYPD, and that was the problem. Uh, you know, reliable sources told me otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's yeah. just fucked up that if you're trying to do somebody saying good for your community, and they all just wild out. Well, also, the videos that I saw, you guys could correct me. Did they start really wilding out before they arrested him? Because it seemed like it was such a big gathering. That's when the NYPD stepped in. And they're like, yo, we got to remove Agent uh, Duke and Kai. And they arrested them. And it seemed like the second they put them in handcuffs, Cuffs? everybody started wilding. Like, uh, what are y'all doing? Oh, yeah. Okay. You know, that's what I thought was happening. I don't know. That could I make just, sense, but I didn't see the But I know the police were like, yo, inciting a riot is still a thing before it becomes a riot. And, yeah. you know, there was a lot of people there. The correct safety measures weren't there. Yo, mm-hmm. that shit made me realize how big he is. Yeah. Yeah. New it's, York. And New York, when you're from New York, New York really pull up for you. That's crazy. That was fire. I was hating. <laughs> like, yeah, you could pull that many people. How many people was there? Everybody from the Bronx. Everybody Bro, from the, the Bronx. Whole popularity it had to be Bronx. like. I think they said like close to 20,000. No. Yeah. No. Let's look at let's No, show. there's no way. That's a whole state. That's MetLife Stadium. The whole entire Union Square was covered in people. You couldn't even walk or drive. Bro, Union Square is already covered on. in people. Yeah. Wait, Google were, it before you. Yeah, Google, Google, Google it. Google it. People. I need to see I'm this. Gonna think, I'm going to th- think like 500 people was there. Nah, hell no. 500 people. Way more. It had to be over 1,000. No, 500. Uh, estimated to be six. Th- no. 6,000. Yeah, 6,000 so far. 6,000 people estimated yeah. to be there? Yep. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. But wait, wait, wait. 
You got to minus. Yeah, over 60 You got to minus the people that are already there, like the crackheads and stuff that are on Union Square. Yeah, okay, so we take out 50. And pedestrians. Nah, there was 6,000 people that pulled that up there. They got 1,000. You still pull 5,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still don't respect like a lot of them kids and shit fucking vandalizing people's nah, cars yeah, for no reason. Yeah, fucking that's up. crazy. But yeah, like if you're sitting in your car and you see a whole bunch of these kids crossing the street and it's like a group of kids and who knows what they're going 6, to. 6,000 people. That's crazy. Yeah, like you can't even drive in traffic. It's not a red light. You really can't go nowhere. Don't start yeah. honking and getting out of your car and, and making a people. fuss because all those people are going to do is one person and then everybody's Set just going to go, oh, yeah? Yeah. I seen a video. Somebody was standing on somebody's car. Crazy. Breaking the windshield. Yeah. I think that's what I saw. And you People seen the dude that, that had the, uh, was a vendor? Mm-hmm. They yeah. had that and they popped on him too and started oh stealing his sodas. Uh, I see somebody stole a fresh direct truck. Stu- that's a crazy. Fresh the big direct truck? Yeah. yeah. The big orange truck. Nah, that's yeah. crazy. That's stole different, that. bro. For what, bro? Because you like a, a person? Just because it was there. He was like, all right. Yo, for what? Yeah. That's wild. That is wild. And then there's no reason. We started doing this shit for no reason. Like, there's no political. It's just, yeah. fuck it. Let's fuck the city up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those people got to be more aware, too. I even seen pictures of kites, like, found, like, this little girl in the crowd. Like she couldn't breathe. She couldn't breathe because there was so many people that he put her on her back and, like, carried her out with his bodyguards and That's stuff. That's fire. Oh my God. There was another girl who was, like, hyperventilating because he got close to her and she, like, was going to pass out. And he was there, like, everybody back up, talking he, to her and stuff. He also probably didn't know how big he was either. Like, to yeah. bring I out. I think that's his first big New York comeback since the, the big stream. Because he could pack out a... St- you can pack out something now and just do a fucking concert. Oh, yeah. He six turns 000. on his computer and 25,000, 100,000. 6,000 like, people showing up is a lot of that people. That is a lot of people. That's, That's a, a, How many people fit in MSG? Probably like 32. You think 32,000 fit in MSG? MetLife fit 20,000 people. Yeah. I don't uh, think I don't think I MSG think fit. MSG's it's, like an, it's not a stadium. I'm sorry. It's an arena. So yeah, it'll probably be arena. like 18. Mm-hmm. I think MSG is 22,000. MSG... There's no way. Yeah. Uh, the capacity for concerts is twenty thousand. Yeah. Basketball is nineteen. Hockey's eighteen. Wrestling eighteen. Mm, twenty thousand. So I guess depending on the setup, but yeah, around there. Oh, so I guess they just wanted to do it at MetLife to do it at MetLife. Well, one of them Met is Life? a stadium. The other one's an arena. It's two different venues. I mean, yeah. You, some people could pack out a stadium. Some people could pack out an arena. But MetLife holds 20,000 people. No, 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 I'm saying, yeah, yeah. I think he could do that. But I'm saying that's two oh. two different things, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was just thinking about, like, I thought stadiums hold more. That's all I thought. They do. How much they hold? Check that out. Because I, I kept hearing <laughs> <laughs> I kept hearing. We looked up MSG. That was. that was Yeah, yeah. Search MetLife. MetLife because is probably Beyonce, like 38. Watch. You think so? Yeah. Stadium, mm-hmm. especially football stadiums. Those are like the biggest ones in America. Yeah. 93,000. Who? My life could fit 93,000. Crazy. Yeah. And here we thought Beyonce had 20,000 people. That's the all time record high. I did. Me and my little sister. That's the all time record high at that stadium. 90, 93,000. You want to take a look at, uh, take a guess at who did it? Who? A singer? Michael Jackson. No, nah, it was in 2014. I 2014. Mean. 2014. Ooh, good close. That was close. 2012. Oh. I'm sorry. 2012. Mm-hmm. A singer. singer. Tay Tay is close. It is a um, male. Wait, wait, what? Oh, it's a male. Who is it? Is a male? Yeah. Sam Smith. No. No. <laughs> no. A singer. Ah, wait. What's his name? Harry Styles? No. Ed Harry Sh- Styles. Ed I was going to say Ed yeah. Sheeran. Yeah. I, literally, I, just I was going to say Ed Sheeran. Oh. No, I literally was. <laughs> I just, when you said 2012, I just feel like Ed Sheeran's been around that long. Yeah. Yeah. It says August 1st. 2012. That's probably the crazy. Yeah. Damn, I'm old as so fuck. So wait. Oh, so I'm gonna have My to check how many gone. how many people Beyonce had on concert. I remember the last girl I was with. These concerts. Okay, so regularly MetLife fits 45,000, but for that stadium for that event it was 93. Oh, so 45. Okay, okay. But like All right, so yeah, 45. double then a double then MSG. Yo, so before summer ends, I think I like I want to do a barbecue, but I I gotta let y'all know y'all need to bring something. Because if you think you coming to my barbecue without bringing something, you can't come. You're talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking, definitely. Yeah, I'm talking definitely to every, don't bring I'm talking your to kids everybody. If you're not going to bring nothing. What, what? Don't bring no kids if you're not going to bring nothing. Kids shouldn't be invited to a barbecue. What you what mean? You, what? 
You make them all play together in the corner. Yeah, it's all fun and games. See, yeah, that's well, why you don't want kids. You think your life is over. Yeah. What? <laughs> we flipped it all up now. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't want to get past kids this conversation. Kids get lost. Because, no, wait. For, first of all, I don't You got to do it like in a spot like this, in a closed environment for kids. You can tell we don't have backyards. Uh, yeah, I yeah. see. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we don't even think of that Our shit. Our barbecues are just in the parks. Yo, but no. on Seriously, because I want to go through barbecue etiquette. Because I, I, I see that people don't know shit. Where have seen that from? 100%. Call them out. It is a... Call people, them out. Don't call them out. I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> talking about you, Kaba. <laughs> no. Oh, what? what? You don't bring nothing. What you brought last time? What barbecue? What barbecue? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I bring my presents. What presents? And I even cook. I be the one grilling. No, you don't. No, you don't. What? Oh, well, you did grill in the crib. He made, <laughs> nah, he do be He be grilling. making his own shit, though. No, he be grilling. Because yeah, I got to cook everybody's, but I be grilling everybody's. Nah, he do be grilling. He do be grilling. You just in the park. I'm not a... But in Yo, you slide that one in there. You just hate her because you do be mad biased. I want to tell you that every podcast Why episode, is? you gotta jog her memory. I do realize what you said earlier. She just be saying no to shit. Yeah, bro, that's my man's a hundred grand, not, I, <laughs> <laughs> bro. But some people dead ass won't bring something, and then we offended if I ask them to bring something. So let's set the rules for them. What? Good. What do? You, how do they know what to bring? People are offended because they broke. <laughs> then you can't go to the barbecue. Exactly, just don't go. And ice is a dollar ninety nine. Is it? It's something like that. You go at know. like the, at like Seven Eleven. Would you be mad, right? Uh huh. If I knew I was going to a barbecue, so I made mad ice in the crib, so I came with like, <laughs> like instead of bags trees? of ice, I come with like just my own he cooler. Brings, he brings his own ice that he made from the crib from That's the love. ice tray. But he yeah. said it's a cooler. Yeah, I take it. How much what if it's a ice cooler full of ice? Like seventeen cubes. Seventeen cubes. How big are the to a barbecue. For those who know, I'm don't do By that. the time you get to the barbecue, shit gonna melt. Not in a cooler. Nah, you gonna have a cup of water. That. You gotta bring something. Yeah, like, I'm bringing a cooler. Video, there was this video I saw on TikTok. <laughs> I'm bringing a cooler. <laughs> there was this video on TikTok where this lady, she was talking about how she wants to have a barbecue, but she broke. Mm -hmm. So she calls up her friends and she's like, hey girl, what you doing? She's like, I don't know. And she's like, yo, I'm thinking about having a barbecue. And she's like, all right, I'll come through. She's like, you need anything? She's like, we pretty much have everything, but um, you can bring some buns. And then she calls her other friend, tells her the same shit. We pretty much have everything, but you can bring some burgers. <laughs> no, no. You no. know, you can bring it. I got everything, but if you want, you can bring your barbecue. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can bring the grill. Is that what you meant? Yeah, is it not? You can is bring. It, isn't it the same thing? No. No. What it's does barbecue cool. stand for? Barbecue. Bar. Oh. <laughs> The hell are you talking about? Barbecue. <laughs> it's just stupid. Look at this BBQ. one. BBQ. Because in my head, it was the words. It was the BBQ letters. is not the word. It was just word. BBQ. And I said, what is... What it's is, barbecue. What is barbecue, Sam? <laughs> I really meant that, too. That's why I'm, I'm so embarrassed right now. I feel like it's hot in here. It's to you. Yo, we can't keep working under these conditions. I'm man. not even going to lie those. Watch Lottos? this. You went in the lotto? I'm in the booth right now playing with my pussy. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Yo, speaking of burgers, did you see Mr. Beast is getting sued for a hundred million dollars? That was such a good segment. <laughs> <laughs> By the company for his Mr. Beast burger? <laughs> yeah. Why the company sue him? I don't know. <laughs> uh, so, so from what I read, apparently. He has uh is like Ghost Kitchen where yeah, he yeah. hires this third out third party company to make all the burgers on location, mm -hmm. whatever. A lot of people have been complaining that they're getting raw meat, sending pictures of uncooked stuff. I so seen he's, that. he filed a lawsuit against them. Yeah. Oh. And now they're counter suing him for a hundred mil. Oh, but damn. why? Why are they suing back? Do we not know this? I guess it's just court games. Like, yo, I You suing I mean, me, I'm suing yeah, you. <laughs> yeah. We gotta look into that because we definitely just brought that up with no information. Well, but I, I don't did. Think, I don't think much has been given because it's a lawsuit right now. Oh, uh, that's true. Mm, no I did. Proof. I did have my own burger. You did. That was a ten out of ten burger. How do you guys want me to bring it back? You should bring that shit back. I'd love to have that shit again. I'm bring that lie. shit Wait, back. Wait, damn! How much money did he make that they suing him for a hundred mil? Everything he does. Is I feel like everything he does is just a hundred mil. That's, that's crazy. It. I wrote this boat and it cost a hundred mil. Yo, that's how his did, videos. Just did you started. see his newest video with Tom Brady on a hundred million dollar? No, yacht. he's on a raft for seven days. Yo, could we wrap this up so I can go watch that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he made a, a, a raft and they uh -huh. put him on a boat and they gave him like 
they gave him stuff to to build and shit if he wanted to make his own house what or anything hell? on it. But he had to live on it for seven days. Crazy. Like primitive did he, lifestyle. You did think he, you'll be able to do that? Me? Yeah. I think I, one, he would have left before me. Two, I would have left with him. <laughs> he would have just waited for me to go in there. He would have like, all right, I quit too. I think I would have quit. I think he got so much money and like a good production team, he probably got like scuba divers underneath him the whole time. Ready. There was a there was a boat waiting just in case he didn't yeah. want to give up and shit. Wow. There was a boat, but it no, was but crazy. Like him like, it was raining on them. Cheeseburger. Throw me a cheeseburger. Yeah, real quick. <laughs> it was raining on them. They had no food. No shelter. They made their I'll own shelter. I've been looking around for food, trying to spear shit in. They tried to fish, didn't work. I mean, you guys could watch the video. Mr. B, shout out to you. If you guys don't know, he's my boy. Is uh, he really? So I met Beast Boy before. Did you? His name is Jimmy. <laughs> Damn. Did you? What? Well, Did you really? Did what I really want. Meet Mr. Beast? No, but I met Beast Boy, which is the voice actor of Beast Boy. Ow. Mm. Yeah, you guys didn't know about that Beast. What's his I name? Did. Maggie and the Ferocious, ferocious Beast. beast didn't know where you know, I sung that the other day and nobody knew what I was singing. And Maggie and the Ferocious Beast. I sung that the other day. Nobody knew what I was singing. That's that. the, fr- the dude that looked like this. Nah, what the fuck is that? What is that? The yellow and the red. Yeah. No, what's the- that? That's how he looks to me. That's how he <laughs> looks to me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you picking that up is great. <laughs> I don't, I never seen it before. I never used to watch that show. It didn't gravitate That's crazy. to me. He kind of freaked me out a little bit. He'll sneeze. And he's like, he wasn't ferocious. He was at a all. fucking he, cartoon. He's ferocious. You ever read the book Where the Wild Things Are? Yep. Yeah, he scares shit, me those too. Those guys look way scarier. He, he way. scares me too. Those like a fucking cool. triceratops. Yeah. Yo, that coffee got him kids. <laughs> you hear him? <laughs> like the <a> triceratops. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> 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 he said, I put more water in this. What? Yo. Can we, can we, can we go into Pillow Talk? Your phone's oh. on the floor. We got to help people. For those who don't know what Pillow Talk is, this segment we have where we give advice to people that don't need it because it's pretty obvious what they should do, but they need to hear from someone else. And it just happens to be us, Melanny Cruz. All right. Cabo the Creator. Welcome to That's Your Reality. And Chiclet.hf. Pillow Talk. You want me to talk like that? No. Why not? It sounds good. No. Welcome to That's Your Reality. Ooh. Well, I take you on this voyage. Ooh. Hi, Melanie. Don't do it through the whole shit, too. I got to continue that. Hi, Melanie. Do you want grasshoppers? Why grasshoppers? Do you want any more mimosas? (laughs) 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 Do you want any more mimosas? All right, let me read the pillow. This week's Pillow Talk question. Hi, Melanie and Chicla. I'm a huge fan of you both. Yeah, always- Leave them. Relax. We just started. Conniving. Yeah, always Trifling. make me laugh, and I love the podcast. Send in love from WI. Where's that from? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Uh, I just need to know, are we still supposed to leave guys not paying bills? No. I'm a 27-year-old female who's been in a relationship with my boyfriend for seven years, and I feel like his financial situation is a huge stress on me. To be honest, I just had our whole life story typed up and thought, who gives a fuck? (laughs) Crying face, crying face. But basically... (laughs) Are y'all mad I read that part? No. Oh, okay. (laughs) But basically, we've been living together for four years, and I've been paying majority of the bills since we moved in together. My it. older friends tell me that that's just how shit goes dating a guy in their 20s. To how old is she? She's 27. 27. So, so that's how it goes. Her older friends her said. Her older friends. That's how, okay. Um, In their 20s, but fuck it. I need help. I ask my boyfriend all the time for help paying rent and SMS. So much SMS? So much stress? I don't know. He, so much shit. It's so a, much shit. I thought SMS was like text messages, like yeah. the phone. Me too. He always claims he doesn't have enough money because he's saving for a car, but hasn't had a car in years. <laughs> this man literally just has one bill, his phone bill, but it's just stressful when the guy living with you makes about the same money as you, has Ooh. one bill, you got to drive him around, and don't got money for rent. Meanwhile, he's always smoking, buying guns ammo, and just other BS. Oh, this is this gun, is our gun friend. Ammo, gun ammo is cheap. It's our friend. 
<laughs> don't get me. <laughs> I know who he's talking about. Don't get me wrong. There's things he does and actions he shows that tell me he loves me. When he has the money, he'll plan a date or whatever. And I know seven years is a long time to be with someone. Anyways, am I being played for the longest game ever? Or is this motherfucker just bad with money? Thank you. Damn, that's a crazy question. That's not where I thought where the advice was going. Because well, that's hard to answer. Is I he playing it. me? Uh, yeah. Or is he bad with money, though? No. Yeah. He could be terrible with he money. He could be both, but he's definitely doing the first one because where the fuck is the money going? Because we so, don't cost that much no more. Not the weed I buy. You. Not in Wisconsin. <laughs> I'm telling you that. Yeah. You, I'm you, telling uh, you that. You ever been to Wisconsin? Listen, yeah, I got street Tennessee. sources. Um. Wisconsin and Tennessee are nowhere near each other. <laughs> Yo, that's hard. Yeah. What? Instead of resources, street I sources. Street sources. <gasps> But Yo, we changing the pod name. hundred no. percent. Something, <laughs> something's off there. If you guys are making the same amount of money and only your money's going to the bills, and he's just claiming that I get what you're saying. It's just weed. He's capping. I get what you're saying though. No, is I'm playing you. That's why I'm bad with money. Yeah, because I'm able to on. spend mine, and you Gucci, you going yeah, yeah, you caught on. So I'm definitely bad with money. I'm bad with money. You just I'm playing you still too. But I'm definitely Damn. spending. You could be bread. both. I'm spending his bread on myself and you could, you could be bad with money and not playing nah, mom. It's yeah. kind of impossible because yeah, you could. You have a safety net. Yeah, you. that's what I was going to say. You could, but that person will at least have their necessity. She said rent and stuff is, yeah. is being affected. Nah, I, I think for sure you need to like sit down and have a conversation like, yo, dead ass, bro, what's going on with your money? Because this is what it's been for seven years. And like, I don't know. You should rob him. Mm -hmm. What? Well, he got to start selling the drugs. What type of advice are you giving, bro? <laughs> he said, why you got a straight face? Like, she can't play ass. like a fiddle. Yo. She can't play like a fiddle. I'm not going to lie. She, hurt. she loved him. I think I think I'd be so for the guys, right? Mm -hmm. Hypocrite, biased, yeah. 100%. Because, like, you allowing me to do this? That's That was, yeah, that's also the thing. Like, you. You saw how easily we picked up on the red flags? But like, oh, yeah, he's doing this. See, like, if a woman was doing this, I'd totally disagree. Yes. Because that's what I'm saying. Because, like, <laughs> yes. Chica, like, Chica pays the rent. No, I don't. Who who pays the rent? You don't pay the rent? Oh. I don't wait, know. wait, wait. No, for, for, for a real question. Be? Have we paid the rent this month? In August? Yeah. No. <gasps> <laughs> we got to go pay the rent. <laughs> you go home today Your shit's has changed Yo, Yo The locks is changing It's August <laughs> and the 7th note, The note says If you ever want to see winter yeah. again Yo but the The serious thing is right I pay rent mm -hmm. Melania just gotta go get the check And she always We always get here with a late fee Cause she don't Pay the no, fucking rent No we won't have time. a late fee I'll go today and get a, a check But oh. we gotta go before You want me to solve that one for you too I'm crying You want me to suck it I was gonna say Melania's capping to you She's not going to the bank Where she told you <gasps> She's cheating again? She Not again. Be. Gotta no. be. That's where the freaking tires but is getting flat. I guess, well, I, oh my God. I guess the <laughs> difference would be that you don't want me to pay rent. Like, you want to pay the rent. And like, but if, you, sure if at any moment he's like, yo, Millennia, I want you to pay your half of the rent. Like, I want us to be able to split the bills. Impossible. Like, but you would never do that? No. You can't afford it. Wow. I am the one that's bad with money. <laughs> <laughs> so, she can definitely afford I know. it. I'm bad. I'm really bad with money though. Like Chico is much better at like manifesting money and like. Not I tell you how to do it. You don't but listen he, to me. First of all, you're just naturally grounded. No, your root chakra is really good. Look, your sacral root chakra. I won't get into an argument, right? But I'm gonna just to. say my side of the story. You don't have to speak this time, right? Because you disagree with me, correct? What? Right. I told Melanie the other day. I said, I don't think you do the stuff that you say spiritually correct, right? Because I'm not against spirituality. I'm against how high you put it when you're the spirit. If that don't make sense, what I'm saying is you control and have all the power and everything else helps, yeah, right? I agree with you. So our language, I was saying about language the other day. Mm -hmm. You said I need this to help me. I need to do. I need to. I need to. I said, and I quote, "I need to unblock my sacral chakra." Right. And now I'm gonna. What's that mean? That means we have like we have hold seven on. chakras. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh -huh. Right. She said, "I need this to unblock now, my chakra." Correct. If you needed. You said I need something else to help unblock my chakra. That's what you said. No, I didn't say you that. You did said, say that. No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> So now you need to unblock it. How are you going to do that? 
I'm gonna meditate. This is literally this conversation not happen. But it didn't because you clearly you assumed that I needed something specific. You you even agreed to when we had the conversation longer. You agreed that the only difference was was my language that I'm not saying but, need. But wait, all right. So now can I speak? Uh, no, I'm not done. Okay, complete your thought and then I got you. Okay, I Melanie was saying need for things. I need this to help. I disagree. Mm-hmm. Now since you're saying need. You're never going to get there by yourself mm-hmm. because you just told your body, your energy, mm-hmm. I need that. So it, I literally think that's how this works. It relies on something. Now else. it relies on it just because you said it does. Yeah. I said I had to do a bath, a sit-in bath of... Um, your body was sore? Um, no, no, no. It's a, and it's, a, it's, a, it's a spiritual bath yeah. where I need um, right? sunflowers, honey... A dollar bill, some other stuff. You need a shower and a dollar no, bill? What the fuck? The thing on earth? A sit-in. Right? And we don't have enough time to get into that, but carry on we about do. your point. And then she looks at me, she goes, it's not that deep. The only thing you're changing is your language. Right? I go, so you're the one that told me how to affirm and manifest is about language, but now I'm against your point, language don't exist? And then she couldn't. Uh, yeah, continue so the argument. You told me that rule too. You have to be very really direct. So what I was, so I had brought up chlorophyll mm-hmm. for him. I said, what I'm doing on my tools, like chlorophyll, is for you to go to the gym. If you don't use it, it's creatine. You creatine. Sorry, no, I thought chlorophyll. Creatine. I don't know what the f- no. Cl- no. Whatever. Chlorophyll is. Uh, I I brought up the point, by the way. Okay, but I'm. It was a good point. Mm -hmm. So creatine, you use it, you go to the gym, and it helps you get your results faster. Yeah. Point blank, period. But me needing to clear my chakras is like going to the gym. Like you said it the other day, I need to go to the gym. That's me working out spiritually, aligning myself, making sure there's no blocks. When I say my perfect example is like for me, I struggle with communicating. Okay. Like it's hard for me to find the right words. And express that. So I know my throat chakra, like I need to meditate and clear that often. That's me working out that that energy block. So that's all I was saying. And 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 the need, like for me, it wasn't that deep because I'm not, I guess, I don't know. I, it's just, it's a workout. It's a spiritual workout mm-hmm. that I need to do. And the things that I'm using are tools to help me Get there. Yeah, I feel yeah, you. I got to strengthen my throat, too. Mm-hmm. My, <laughs> my hey shit yo. with the tools <laughs> is when I want to help people, right? Because Melanie does agree that I'm grounded and could do all these things without Naturally, necessarily yeah. believing in those things. And I was like, so why, why don't you believe what I'm saying? Like, I hear him, and I agree with what you're saying. You know, like, if, language is very important. If you, and I'm not taking that away, because if, if I am struggling to... If I'm if I'm panicking financially because I'm not where I want to be, my body my my energy only knows panic when it comes to money. Yeah, it keeps you away from money. Yeah, yeah exactly. So I'm not discrediting everything you're saying. I'm, I agree with that, but I feel like you don't you don't always understand my no, perspective and like where I'm coming from. But that's because it works here. You have the example here. Why I choose to do it a different way that I that doesn't work? But yeah. it, I mean. And it's not that. I think you rely on those things. And that's me personally just having that opinion. It's an opinion. I think you rely on those things. And that's why it doesn't happen. Because if I carry the... This is my example. If I carry these rocks thinking they're supposed to make me money, I'm not going to make no money. The rocks are supposed to amplify my belief of me making money. Not amplify me or making money. You the belief. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? You that, that's why I use creatine. Belief. I said, if I, I can't just take creatine and I'm going to get brolic. Yeah, I got to go to the gym. Yeah, yeah, but you hold the stones and, and you... But I have to believe the they're not... Oh, yeah, I see what you the mean. opportunities like come... Like you take creatine and you go to the gym. And now the creatine is working. That's how it works. Yeah, I right? agree. So you carry... Let's, you do a ritual. You carry stones, whatever it is may be. And now opportunity financially are coming to you. See, I don't agree with that. So yeah, I see what. what I, so his point was being that he agrees with your your thing. The stones are just to add on, like he said, amplify the belief. So if he's going to the gym, he's already going to the gym. So he's already working towards his goal and his belief. Now he's like, you know what? I'm gonna add on creatine to help me get to where I want faster. So yours should be. I know I'm going to go make money, but you know what? 
these things might amplify, so I'm going to throw this on, and now I'm going to make even more money. That's Period. The, That's what yeah, it is. But, it's but he's saying that you sound like you only have that belief when the 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 uh, stones are present. No. And I don't even walk with stones. I know. So I don't <laughs> get how you defend a lot of these things and don't because use them. Because what we're talking about is the perspective of it. No, I we're get it. We're talking about the language of it. At the end of the day... Y'all don't agree with my perspectives in terms of it. No, we and y'all have a you have a narrative of me of I'm putting all my baskets in this eggs and I don't even move that way. Yeah, see, but that's why. So how how all you my baskets in these eggs is literally why I don't understand what you be talking about. All right, so you you it's think, eggs in a basket. So, all right. <laughs> <laughs> But that's why I'd be confused. <laughs> the whole shit off and just kept it and, and like, you know, you say, I believe in these stones. You you have a bag of thing with money in it that you believe in that you don't carry around mm, with no I more. I don't carry it around. And why? And I think in your head, if I carry this around with me, I would get money now. No. So then what was the point of carrying it in the first place in your head? Well, sometimes you got to see it through, my boy. So you don't... Believe in these things, you just. I do. I I do believe question, in though. these things. When you first started with, but the bag, I don't. Do, but y'all think I rely on them, and I don't rely on it. Well, and that's I'm proof not, because I'm not, I'm not I know. I know. Um. I think you rely on it. How if I rely on it, I would hold it every day. Wait, that's yeah, but that's why this. you're not making money because you do rely on it. No, I don't think that. When you first, when you first, you started using that method. Uh, did you do it because you were down financially and you were like, damn, I need something to attract money? No. Or were you up and just like, yo, fuck it, this might help me? I, w I was up and um, my friend made these bags and I was like, oh, let me support, let me get that, let me bring some abundance into my life. That's, okay. That was the okay. mindset. Because if it would have been the other way around, I would be like, oh, okay, that yeah, doesn't no. make sense. Yeah. No, it wasn't. And I only, like, I only really use things that I feel called to. Mm -hmm. uh, that I feel called to. So I have the money bag. I have a self-love bag. But they are on my dresser, and I don't walk with them when I feel like, oh, I, I need some extra money today. Yeah, yeah. I'm very much in tune. I'm very much aware that my I'm trying to pay attention to the to what I'm saying, the narrative that I'm saying, because I know that that's what's. I just think you rely because also even when it comes to how many readings you think you get got in a year. I think I get one every season. Four. Maybe, yeah, depending. Yeah. And that's a lot. Like, And you have done told me, oh, why don't you get one to see what's happening in your life? So you rely on it to literally dictate if you're going but the I, right way. You know, I don't like to say it's by the season. Four is crazy, by the way, too. Wait, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. And second of all, I don't, I, I wouldn't say every season. I, I get readings in order to connect, to ground myself, like a check-in with myself. I, I use my readings... To yeah, communicate you check in more than the doctor, then. To, yeah. uh, I don't have insurance right the now. Doctors, every right six now. but I do <laughs> get check-ins at the doctor. But I'm saying it's every six months. You're doing four a year. You're doing it quarterly. Uh, you yeah. gotta make sure. <laughs> the spiritual you doctor needs sure. more attention. I don't know. That's the. I think that's a lie. Four sounds like a lot to me. Four to check in to see what's so going wait, on in my life. I have a, I, this is a perfect example of it. Therapy. That's not a perfect example. It is. You literally depend on saying it's not real. Therapy, don't you go? Uh, how is go it twice not real? Don't you saying it's not real? One is an insult to me. Yeah. All right. Like, you can't compare a fact you, to something that's not a fact. What? What do you mean? Therapy. Wait, let me see. Where you, are you go going with with the comparison. So therapy. I don't like that. You go to therapy and you speak to about you speak about what's going on in your life. Yeah, you try to. You uncover. get insights from your therapist. Yeah. What next steps you need to take in order to be where you want to be? Yeah. And that is a reading. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. It's not. That no. Is the no. Same. It's not. Do not fall for it. There's a big difference. You know why? What's the difference? One of them spent their entire life studying the brain and the way people think and everything. And the other one read the back of a novelty pack of cards. I've had my reading done. I don't think that's the same. I don't think that is the same at all. I don't think a real life human being understanding my problems, energy, is compared to something that might not be real at all. It's okay. literally a belief. It might not be real. If you believe it, that's cool, but I, you can't compare it to somebody that doesn't believe it in therapy. Can Therapy's anybody... a real person telling yeah. me what's happening in my real life, not saying you're, the, the, the moon is telling me this is what's going on. For, for someone who never had a reading, yeah. you just can't speak that way of it. I can. No, because you don't know, you have no knowledge of what a reading is. I have. And, or, it, like, how, 
You, it's you, a belief. Okay. How would you know that if you didn't do one? I could. I, so now if I do it, I tend to believe it. Let's say if I do believe it. If you do it's one. It's still just a belief. If you do one and this person is telling you things that they have no way of knowing. It still would be a belief. Okay. All right. It's so not, we, not we, a fact. We just got to agree to disagree. We're not disagreeing, though, because I, I agree with those things. I just don't agree. Yeah, but the comparison. I, yeah, I, I, I don't my, agree with the comparison. My thing okay. would be, so, what's the, how do I know what makes this person that I'm going into qualified to even have an opinion? You have to believe in them. That's it. But now when I go into a therapist's office, I can see visually why he's able to tell me the stuff that he's able to tell me, you know? But not necessarily because it's always, like, a hit or miss with a therapist. You yeah. have to find someone that... Really, yeah, you like, have to still be receptive to, yeah, you know, and get and with the person. But I'm saying that doesn't make the them less qualified work. if they don't work. Really All right, good with you. so the same thing. That's with the same thing. But they're not qualified person. to to have. They're not qualified to ya. Yeah. yeah, but that's why I'm asking you. What is the qualifications? The qualifications would be when you get a reading, they know things that you ne one didn't tell them. But how do you know that they know that? Because she's so I'm gonna use a perfect example. That's what I'm I like had if you guys I had a reading. Up, I could go do. I that. had a reading with my home girl, and and for how many readings have you had this year? Um, I don't count. I think I had two. I don't know. I feel I like had you one, had about four already. No, and well, a reading where I'm like on Facetime for like an hour. No, a reading. That's how long. Or those like are? one of the live ones. That Any of them. Those are all readings, um, right? Yeah, I guess. But, like, I also do a reading with myself. Like, I'll sit with my ancestors and, like, and so you my said, counsel. You said four. And I'll pull cards. You said four, and now you're doing more than four, though. Okay, yes. How many have you think you've done this? Um, I think I've done maybe five. Oh, can I ask one more question? I, Wait, I don't five, know and it's, it's, it's... That's crazy, yeah. Not, we only, that's we not only, crazy. We you said four in. a year. Okay. And now we eight. We're not five. even at the end of but the year. Wait, first of all, which I'm not I, about to do is judge me for my readings. No, no I Yeah, I am. No, you're not. Question. Why not? I'm not judging. Because... I'm judging. Because if I ground... Because one, that's my belief. That's my belief. You just said and four, And if I wanted to do one every month, that's on me. Yeah, but that you don't. So somebody that believes in spirituality, you don't think tampering with it once a month is crazy to you? That's not tampering. That's me communicating and connecting. Every with my, month, you can't communicate without somebody else telling you. You can't feel. I you. can, and that's why I said. I said. I you call, said you also. I do said that. I also do my own readings I, where I'm pulling my own cards. But you can't. I don't get it. Like for someone that believes in energy, spirituality, exactly right. To go to someone else to figure out your energy and spirit at, as often as you do. That to me is like, damn, you that's a rely. That's definitely a rely kind of thing. You don't think that's a rely? Okay. To understand what's going on in your life because you can't figure that's it out. That's not what it is, though. You ever got bad information from them? So can I tell y'all my story about the reading? If you feel Yeah, because <laughs> so I had a reading and my friend asked me, like, what's going on in your life right now? And I tell her everything like on a surface level. Like everything's been good. Um Things been great with me and Chiclet, like this, that, and the third. And I kept it very surface level. Like if I was talking to someone, I wasn't supposed to be sharing my life for no reason in particular, but that's what it was. And when she pulled cards, when I tell you everything she said was really happening in my life that I just like completely... No, I get that. Overshot yeah, and like didn't like, think of how it. How could it even be? But all but, those things that I was already like, I knew I was feeling that, but, but I didn't communicate. Can I ask it. you one question? Yes. Next time you do a reading, could you ask her to do the reading without you telling her and giving she, an update? She, she, so everything life? I told her wasn't in the cards. I'm not saying I don't believe in this shit. I'm I feel saying like you rely on it. I don't have to tell the, her anything. She will pull like cards. The stigma would be like, oh, they just say something generic. So like perfect, a, perfect that you can relate example. to like a horoscope. So perfect example. I did a reading recently on live. And I asked for a general reading. And that's what I don't understand either. That you can't tell people your readings, but you go. they also allow you to do it on live for everybody else to hear. How can don't you feel somebody's energy through live? They can connect. They can connect with people's energy. But I don't get that part. They tell you not to tell That's nobody crazy. your readings, but then they go on live and make money. They don't tell you not to tell people you readings. You said they... I said, you're, not you're not supposed to tell people readings of things that's going to happen. Things that are happening here right now in this moment, I can share that that's happening right now. Very but if I'm... No, it's not. You do you, you explain that's something to me thing. and then get mad when I bring up your explanation All right. and then you change I'm the not, explanation. I'm, I'm not upset. No, this I'm is what, clarifying. No, this is what I'm saying. You tell me one thing and then when I combat it, you switch up everything you say to 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 defend your narrative. I'm not one, I'm not that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to clarify it. 
Yeah, but I'm why, not trying to combat why it. Why is it not clarified? Because I don't. For me, this conversation ain't nothing about combating because we have difference of opinions in terms of it. I thought you were looking for some knowledge, and I want to express myself. No. I want to express what I'm saying the more so, accurately. So, what has you been getting readings done for you? So, look, wait. So, I had a reading on live, and I said general reading, and one you 100 percent like it's it's alive. There's people on there, and the person that I That's do it crazy. with. She makes sure that she doesn't overshare because you can. You can overshare and now you're exposing all your energy to these people that you don't know nothing about. So um, she was doing a joint life with someone and the first thing, I ain't saying nothing, the first thing he said was, I see a contract that's taken way too long to finalize. Your ancestors are you very... On, you was on your account, Melanie Cruz? Yeah. Okay. Um, all they know is my name. Because they channel, they connect to my energy. Everybody know your name. Period. I don't. Um, but the first thing he said was the contract. And that my ancestors are very chill. Like, oh, it'll come, it'll come. But my council, like your spirit guides, are like, nah, we need this shit to be finalized now. Like, we need this. My girl been working way too hard spiritually, energetically, that she should be She was working hard spiritually, and energetically, getting wait, readings. Wait, 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 wait. Working hard spiritually is making sure I'm a, I'm grounded. Right now I do have a myself. theory, but I do want you to finish. And so that was the first thing. I ain't telling nothing from the whole wall, and that's one hundred. I think he already true. got all the information you needed. Or from he needed. what? From your username. He went straight to business contracts with you after he realized you're Melanie Cruz. Okay. Not even that. It could be a hundred percent real. I'm just uh, saying. This is just my skepticism. Right? That, it can, be the yeah. First this thing is that me just being of. devil's advocate. Shit. Oh, devil's advocate while being spiritual. Crazy. But. I don't get it. I don't get what being in tune is, is me lighting this candle up right now. But I get to fuck up the rest of the day. But since I did that today... When you light a candle, you don't, I'm you don't, fine. You don't oh, what feel you mean more fuck relaxed. Up? Do I don't mean see nobody up? be as what they say or what they receive. I don't see that. I've seen people in our life, multiple people in our life do readings. And it doesn't do nothing. It doesn't change shit. You're still the same person. So why rely on something that does not I, I don't think, help? I, 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 I'm going to like... I get it. I'm gonna look at it. I'm gonna look at it like as a human. That's how you're supposed to. Hold on. Yeah, I have a point. Don't need to give me the little. I mean, I don't know. What are you? Are you not a human? (laughs) Well, I'm gonna talk about. You have good days and bad days. You wake up in the morning. Sometimes you're upset. Next me, no, you're uh, you're you're mad. You're angry. You're happy. Like today, I did that. Right. Yeah, you know. And so and so, when you like this human experience. Is a human experience, and it's a wave of emotions. You're not always gonna be the amazing person that you are destined to be at the at, at all the all the time, 100. percent So when you light a candle, and you're not woo woo every day, doesn't discredit less of what you do. No, oh, I believe that. I also don't believe people that make money off of shit is really genuinely helping you. I do believe that. There As are there's definitely believes, some people that are yeah, I, I, like, like trying to get yeah. money from you. You know, my shit is a lot of aspects and my that, shit, I feel like that could be taken advantage. I think advantage. that new wave. That's why I said, what's the qualification? Uh, mm-hmm. I think that new wave is like being a doctor. Oh, you got anxiety, you need these pills. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. what I think. And I that's got my the shit. title. Yeah. You trust me. Here I you got go. what you need. Here you go. Because they keep giving, or well, not they, because this is not just a you thing. I've seen. My family, believe, you know, like a lot of people I know yeah. believe in this stuff, which I think you can believe it. Do I have anxiety? Maybe I do. But to take pills and not get through this myself is crazy. To not to light this up right now every day I feel a certain way is crazy. I am my human being with my own energy that I can control. That's what I feel. This is me. I'm not allowing somebody else to dictate how I feel. And, oh, do you need? I don't need that. And I don't want to ever need it. Yes, can it help? I agree. Help amplify do that, but I have to believe in me first. And I don't know, because I don't know too much about that world. I don't know if that gets expressed. Yo, you have this going on, but you need to get that deal signed. How do I get that deal signed? Me. I do that. They miss, I, I don't know. Like I just said, I can't even keep saying they miss because I don't know anything about it. But I like for people to understand, this is but you. But that's what, that, so that's what was said. This is your was belief. The contract is is taking long. I don't want to, I don't want to tell you to be unprofessional. But you need to get on their back. Not no, oh, you need to do this bath. You need to light a candle to do no, that. Like, you, it's not always you. necessarily that. But as you case. have the energy to success, you have all of that for 100%. yourself. And I think you carry that on. So you, Today, I was upset. You said you wake up, you light a candle, if you feel upset, whatever it is. Today, I was upset. You know what I did? I just stopped being upset. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
if I relied on that candle, then I'll probably be upset for the whole day because I do think it ends up being a kind of so, rely. The same way with creatine. I yeah, like, it's a what, coping I like thing. what you said. I like how you said, like, energy. I believe that. Like, so en- energy is so important, and, and it's it's amazing when you learn how to read your own energy, when you know what you need, when you feel like you're off. Like, you felt you felt off. You was you felt like you were sad, but you, Mad. What, all you needed was... To be like, you know what? Let me not do that. Mad. Yeah. You yeah, mad. but the thing is, so I see you do that. I feel off and then live in it. Mm-hmm. Right? I've seen you do that. Living yeah. it by I'm off, I don't know what it is, and keep trying to figure out what it is when you could just feel off. Yeah. So now I, is I, not knowing what it I is. Felt like you that's would... where I've been. Like if I'm off, like I don't I, like you asked me earlier what's going on. I don't know. I just yeah, this but, is where I'm yeah. at right now. I can't tell you. I don't know. It's just, yeah, but then there's yeah. a oh uh, then I'll go home and there's an energy, you know, there's a there's a bunch of things going on. I was like, Bro, you're just off. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. why I do... Com- seconds of like, look, you were just fine. That's why I consider rely. That's the only reason why. And I don't like the rely. If I am, and this just comes out of your mouth, so spiritually connected without doing those things, what makes you think I'm not saying the right thing? Okay. What makes you think I'm not saying the right thing? Because I believe in me. I'm not against none of that shit. I'm against it happening so frequently. I'm against... The rely aspect, even if you don't think, what if you have a blind spot? I see what's going on. Yeah. You know, of course, it sounds like I'm attacking it, which technically I yeah, am. Yeah, I mean, you're saying, like, that I'm not against it, but then there's aspects of it where you are against. Yeah, so there it, is. I don't con- believe in everything. It, it contradicts. Like, you, there's a contradiction it, to everything. Yeah, but it's, it's like saying, oh, I'm... Um, it's like you should take... This amount of uh, creatine. No, you shouldn't. You should take that amount. No, I think this amount. But the difference that's is... That's my thing. I does, believe the creatine. Yeah. But I just don't believe the dosage. Say, that's exactly what I was going to say. He doesn't believe in your thing. You know, you speak as it's fact. He speaks as if it's in question. So that's why it comes off like that. But that's my shit too. Like that real stuff and real facts and physical options, you second guess. I've watched that. But stuff that there's no guarantee, you talk like it's a fact. That's my shit. I understand that this is so my belief. Can you respect that this is that that's just that's me? And no. I've been like that for a minute. Spirituality is a fact for me. No, I get it that it's a fact. I don't think the way you move is a fact. But I think you view it that way, but I really don't I view you that way. Yeah. Yes. You view me that way. Yes. And that's not really the case. Because I, I don't rely on it as much as you think I do. And also no, I not, don't I, can I speak freely? I don't think like you judging me for how often I want to do it. Yeah, and definitely judging you. Yeah, I agree. I know it's fair for me. Why not? Because if it makes me happy and it's no, where that's I'm not. At, that's no, that's not. That's like me watching you do coke and you saying it makes yeah. me happy. Then I should do it. No, never would agree. So with you that. have a problem with spirituality. I have a problem with you relying on it. Oh, that's yeah. what I'm gonna keep saying. But if that's who I am, no, then if that's who you are, I should be able to speak up and say you're going down the wrong path. I should why be able is to do that. that. Wh- how because would, you're relying on something that you shouldn't be when you're that powerful by yourself. But when, Okay, so what I'm talking about relying, I'm not talking about... And one, I don't know. I'm going to just disagree with you on you that. You can't and disagree. I feel like, but but that's shit, like me saying to you because I keep hearing you say this and then it, I hear... I hear, I hear your response of you want to be in a relationship when you don't want to... You want to be independent when you don't want to be in a, in a yeah, relationship, yeah, yeah. right? Like... Me standing my ground on my level of spirituality and where I want to be and how often I want to. No, no, no. What you're, I wanna you, do. That's not true. You just said you should do it four times, but you've already done it five times. I'm going off everything you're saying and saying, look, it's getting bad for you. And he's saying, no, it's not. You also told me you shouldn't tell people your readings, but then went on live for everybody to hear it. So now I'm combating what you're coming out of your mouth. And now that's now. And I said, now your stance goes so, to you so, not respecting my so decision. Wait, wait, wait. I can't wait because yes, I'm getting. Yes, you can because. I said you're not allowed to tell people you're reading. No, you're saying this now. I, you changed I, it. I, you changed what it. What did before, I change? I'm in saying in the conversation, you said you're not supposed to. I'm tell saying them before I this say conversation. You're not supposed to tell. And I've always said you're not. And I said this before. You're not supposed to tell people the things that they're foreseeing. No, you never said that, right? Yeah. Oh, you yeah, never yeah, said yeah, that yeah. before said, today. Said, like, I did no. say that before today. No, never, I, I never, did say that because I said that to your mom. I've. And I said that to you. You, that you was have that said that the foreseeing, the uh-huh. future shit, I've never heard in my life, right? Okay. Never. All right. Right? And you're a person that does fuck up all your words, eggs in all my basket and all my eggs, right? This happens. So it could be that you just never said that before. I definitely understand that. But I see something going wrong. The, you could give me all my power, right? Until I give it back to you. 
That's when my power doesn't exist and it doesn't matter, which doesn't make sense to me. You're so powerful, Chick. Look at all of you done for yourself. All right, let me share my wisdom with you. So, nah, don't like your power. I'm a go to. This is what's crazy. I'm telling you this, right? You got to respect my decision. That's your thing. But you could go and get somebody else's opinion because just because you want to and it's a spiritual. But you believe I'm spiritual but won't listen to my opinion. But go to someone else for opinion of being spiritual and that's okay. I think... What? I don't get that. Hold on. Okay. I'm sorry, I just don't get that. That's fine. I think you naturally are very grounded. Um, you're able to manifest freely. You don't do anything spiritually to get there. Oh, I'm energy. Yeah. You know you know the power of energy. Yeah. You know the power you you know of radiating the way it feels. I know energy. Yeah. yeah. Right? And you know the words control energy as well. Yep. Right? So m my spirituality spirituality is taking time to journal what's going on in my life. This is what I'm feeling energetically. This is where I'm at. This is how I've been feeling. This is what I want for my future to look like. And that that is, is as small as that, is doing more things like that every day. So it's not always needing to get a reading. I I get a reading. Pretty often. I get a reading pretty often. Not because I need them, because I want to do it. That's, that's a need, And there though. was only, n no. There was only. Not a need, but could it be a reliability? No, because it I has because you told me before that you rely on. Okay, it. there was only and uh, all right. If if I have no problem with saying that if I needed it, I needed it. If if you have, I have like no problem, and I feel time. like I get what you're saying. The problem is needing it, but to so play. So for me, when I was an alcoholic and I don't need liquor, but I'm doing it every day and it's fucking me up. I technically needed it, just but how is, didn't want to come to me, that. Connecting myself and and like I'm only going off how you because you said you should get it four even though I still think four I didn't times say, I didn't say you should get it four times. So you asked me how many times I got in it. No, that's in the not past. what happened. We could we could that's you not said, what happened. You asked me how many no, times I I said got how it. many times a year you think is a good reading. You said four. I said one every season. Yes. But then I so what I was going to say is because it wasn't that I was literally talking about how I don't necessarily feel like I have to get it all the time. When I feel like I want like to you're connect. lost, you need it. Okay. You need it. When I want to connect with my spirit, guys, 100%. When you're feeling lost, 100%. You need it. If I felt to I know you on the right path, you need it. Yes. That's what I was going to Because you can't do it without knowing. You have to know what's happening in your life without you figuring it out for yourself. Okay. That's, a, we, that's the reliant. Yeah. I, well, I'm going to disagree with the, with the point of because. It's a reassurance. You don't yeah. like the word. This is You're what arguing I'm feeling. the word. This is what I'm feeling. This is what I'm feeling. This is where I have been feeling. I want to read in. I want to talk to my homegirl. Yeah. This is like, don't even need to say this is what's happening. This is what's looking forward for you. This is you, how you've been feeling. You don't think if you do that, because I said the same shit with the other day, that you, every time it rains, you want to manifest good weather. You don't think every time you think you're on the wrong path, you want to get a reading, right? A loss. You don't think that's fucking with energy and... Like, if you believe in these things, you don't think so, that's a, there's a cost for that? So, I had gotten a reading, but it wasn't because I was in a wrong okay, path. Okay, cool. But I do 100% agree with what you're saying. I do 100% agree with that because if I'm, um, you know, only going for the bad moments and 100%, I need to trust that I'm on the path that I am. I'm on this right path. Baby. And there's good and there's bad. And I'm saying be. you got that. You powerful enough to do this shit. I don't care if you're talking no more. You're That's saying the rude. same thing over. It, then you're it's saying rude. the same thing over and over again, Then too. it's rude, bro. Then it's rude. You're not liking what you're hearing, so it's rude. Because we cut each other off I'm, all I'm pod a, before this. I'm agreeing with you. No, I feel you. But we cut each other off all the time until now. Now it's rude. That's why I don't like that. It now it depends on whenever the fuck. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna disagree with you because okay, so earlier disagree. when the conversation was all fun and I, you was to cutting me off. Yeah. I asked you not to cut me off. After we did it on purpose, but, and you oh. saw it was a thing all with right. the pod. Correct. Anyway, anyway, I 100% agree with you because I want to talk about what I'm feeling and what I'm talking about. So you cutting me off when I'm really opening myself. I don't hear nothing. I'm. 
Maybe I'm just ignoring it, but it sounds like the same thing that you're relying on it and you're telling us you're it not. It is. You, that's why I was like, yeah, I realized you have a problem with the word. You don't. You're not even arguing our perspective. Or I'm his not. Perspective. I'm talking. To, yeah, I'm not arguing your perspective. No, I'm you're arguing about something differently than what we are. You're arguing the word rely and need. I'm not even. You, you replaced it with assurance and re, and it doesn't fit. Okay. Well, I I stopped talking about that because you made a, a point about using having a reading when you feel stuck. Yeah. And I'm saying like 100% I agree I agree with you about that it shouldn't be that. It shouldn't be that way and I and I'm working on where I'm at like this is where I'm at. Like I'm already I already done whatever I needed to do. This is my life. This is appreciate gratitude. Why do you think you was more powerful before than you are now? I don't think I'm more powerful than you I was don't? before. So, no. I, right. I was I was literally and I I'm not gonna lie to you. I go. I have went in a wave of thinking that I was before, Growth, but then mentally, does that's my shit. I think you literally. This is, and I could be wrong, y'all. I think you confuse with mental growth, but you growing as a person with spirituality, and I think there's two lines with that. You could have grown as a human being, as a without energy person, and be, and not have grown spiritual spiritually. I think that could happen. I don't know. I think there's a, a huge confusion between both because you was powerful before. When you feel Melanie Cruz walk in, that's Melanie Cruz. There's a lot of doubt now that happens and stuff, but you sp feel you spiritually have grown. And where the doubt comes from, wouldn't that be a spiritual doubt? Like, I don't know. You felt the presence before. Mm. Now it's, uh, you know, maybe that person, this, that. There's a, there's a shift I've been, change. I've been definitely feeling that shift. I have. A little more like unsure as we get older. I don't know. I well, I'm paying it like we are. We consistently look back at like trauma at our yeah. childhood trauma, mm -hmm. and we don't take account the trauma that's happening currently. Yeah. So and how it plays an effect on us. So paying attention to how our career has went in the past six years and moments where I expected it to be here and it wasn't like. I'm, I'm paying attention to what that has had an effect on me today. Like mm -hmm. those moments where I wanted something to be better than what it was, is it discouraging me now? Like we talked about Mr. B, not Mr. B's Kai um, Senta, Sanat. Sanat, Kai Sanat, <laughs> bringing um, six thousand people, yeah, into Union Square, and like I thought of. The idea of gathering that many people are like, oh, I'm going to do this here at Union Square. A part of me thought, like, fear that people are not going to show up. Yeah. And all that that thought came from moments of where it wasn't, where, where they didn't, you know, and not thinking of, of now I'm like, all right, so this is where this, this is treading from. This is where this is coming from. Now I can be like, nah, you can't think like that. You know what's crazy? If you made it this far, the reason why I'm so combative with it, with spirituality and Melanie, like me saying she's relying on it, is because I believe in her. Yeah, fuck all that other shit. So it has nothing to do with like, even oh, if it, I don't even believe if it's in spirit. Hundred percent true. We you know, believe in you before we believe in that. Before I'm a believe in that. Yeah, and that's. But I believe in I believe in me. Yeah, and yeah. That's, the, um, the, that's just the tools. I think. Yeah, but I don't think that's more, a, Yeah, I don't. I think Cheeks believes in you more than you believe in yourself. And okay. and reassurance is not believing in yourself, by the way. Okay, yeah. I I think I gotta make sure I'm on the right path. That yeah, means yeah. You, that's contradicting. That means that you're you're a little not unsure. That's why I used unsure. Maybe you're a little right. unsure. Re of reassurance. Of the I, reassurance, yeah, but not on the right path. Like reassurance. No, no, no. I didn't say that. I'm no, saying well, reassuring either. what? Reassuring that you made the right decisions and mm, stuff. No. What are you reassuring? Okay. Ye wait. So yes, reassurance that. You're still on the path you want to be on. Yeah. That, yeah. Right. But wait. That's it. No, it's not. Okay. Because it's also reassuring that what you. There could be in. other things, but my point is in there, right? Yeah, I'm All happy right, so for you. And it also could be. It's also reassuring that what you're feeling is is accurate. Who cares? But that's rude. No, who ca You think who cares that I feel? Oh, I felt this way because. My shoes were untied. Thank you, spirits, for for reassuring me that I felt that way because my shoes were untied. Who cares why you felt that you, way? You, you right? Wait, okay. Yeah, you, no, I'm saying for you. I'm talking about me. Why? Who yeah. cares? Yeah. I'm saying yeah. me. Because you, you have the yo. Nobody's gonna validate you my own emotions. You 100. You 100. Percent. Like, I'm not saying who cares in, about Melanie's feelings. I'm trust saying trust in that what you're feeling is what you're feeling. Yeah, bro. 
I'm the reading's cool, you know, twice. That's all cool. It's just to me, you have all of that power. These are the tools that help you, yes, but I haven't seen the power. I've just seen you getting help. Where's the power? Where's mm -hmm. the everything else that you say come with it? Haven't seen that. Why? That's why I believe in rely. But I'm here and you would never rely on me, right? Never. And I'm the one that's here giving you what you need. That, oh, I do what you rely need. on you. Not, not really. You would say it. Right? I do rely on you. I'm not going to lie to you. No, you do, but you don't, right? Like, you won't say it. You won't want to. Well, you I'm won't saying choose it right to, now. But you won't want to, you won't choose to, correct? Because this is a whole different conversation than what we usually have now. Because now everything is changing. Words are changing again. Yeah, and they will always change when right. I'm real. I'm going to give you That'd credit. That'd be my shit, guys. Me and, me and Malay have different conversations off camera. And then we get on camera, I look like the bad guy because now she's changing the words. I'm giving you... I know, but you never done this before, so that's I why it'd be weird when this is on. Because what does it matter if I never done that before, and I'm I'm appreciating you for. No, I know, I, I, I do get rely it. Thank on you. you. I do rely on you. It's just I be having. I'm relying a, on you right now. We've had these with what you're saying. We've had these conversations so much, right? We've had these. We haven't had this conversation okay. of relying in a while. Okay. We've had these conversations so much, so I get to hold that in. Damn, Eleni doesn't rely on me, which I would want, right? And I've said that multiple times. And then watching you rely on other things. But nah, I'll never rely on you. And then I hold that in. Damn, she'll never rely on me. Now I come and say this on camera. And it's, I do rely on you. That's a fucking and like I'm smack taking, in the face. All right. And I'm telling you, what, just so everyone knows, so you don't feel like no. the bad guy. I did. I would not tell him that I rely on him because you're unreliable emotionally. So I would hold that me and That's my cap. own. But it's cap. All right. But, but either way. I, you're right. But I never say before that I rely on you, nor give you credit no. for where I rely on you. I at. appreciate and you I'm saying this now, you know but right I now. actually don't because it's happening right now on camera. <laughs> I don't. I'm being honest. And this is not the first time this happened. That's why it's also upsetting too, where you say one thing off camera, but when we get here, you it, it's me feeling a way that I've been feeling for years, mention it for you for years, and you never agreed until we we do it here. So when was the last time we had that? I can't. I can't do that. But and I'm not gonna do that actually because. I think we had it in Florida, I believe we had it, when we were sitting together across from each other, understanding each other. I think that's happened then as well. And maybe like three days ago when we, no, last week when we tried to have this conversation, we, you, wasn't, you wasn't capable of having it. Correct? I don't know, recall the conversation happened in last week. Okay. That's my point. You bring it up for what? To not remember? That's my point. I didn't bring I'm it up. saying I believe in you. I got you. It sucks to see you rely on all these things when I'm here believing in you. Probably the only person believing in you besides your spirits that you rely on. But what's changed? When I'm here and I tell you what we're doing, let's go, there's a lot of change that happens. I haven't seen a change. I love to see Melanie Cruz believe in herself. I feel like there and is win. a change. And when? I'm not, I'm not going to lie and act like there isn't some doubt every now and then. But I do think there is a change okay. as well. Like, I don't think I was the same person that I was last year energetically. And that's it. Okay. I Thank you. Thank you for giving me my flowers and reminding me that I'm that bitch. Yeah, we tell you this all the time, but I guess you hear it when you want to. Yo, and we throwing backhand compliments. I see. Fuck we it. We love that. Thank you for that. That's your reality. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, send your questions for your relationship advice at that's your reality at gmail.com. Bow. My lady, why you mad? Just cause I like her pics don't mean I want her back. Melanie, why you mad? I know I do dumb shit sometimes that make you want to spaz. 